Hello and welcome back to episode 110 of our survival let's play on No Man's Land. You'll have seen a probably about 30 second time lapse right at the beginning and that was us doing some field work. Whether you missed it or not, we kind of planted the wrong crop in here. Um, I got the planter and yeah, some flowers went in, not the sugar beet that was meant to go in there. Um, also, over here, we'll keep going. We're going to do this field. This sorghum field is going to get done. However, there's still one more field that we need to turn around as well, which is that one right at the back there, which I think was... Was that field number... Originally, the field number two. Um, the other ones that we've got is these here. Both our canola fields now these were the sunflower fields when um, they're now our canola fields so I mean the yield looks alright in them as well I don't know why I keep saying like there's just little bits that say bad but overall I think we should be alright um, so yeah that's what we did in the time lapse what we need to do is we need to get that field done, that field over there, the sorghum field harvested. We need to get our olive fields um, lined as well because I think it was uh, Rossi Farmer's messages on um, on YouTube and saying that this it still needs doing. Now I thought after the message that we got. I don't know, sometime last week I think that it didn't that that wouldn't need require doing because I didn't think it would count if you know what I mean I'm going to see if I can do it in this if we can put the lime down in here I was hoping our environmental score would have went up as well a bit but it hasn't it stayed at 70% um, of luck just before we come on we were on like 90 odd at one point, I think. Is this going to be uh, alright? I was going to be too heavy. Yeah, that's going to be far too heavy. It's a shame. Uh, so just drive it into the post by don't we? Let's put that in there. And let's go and get the John Deere. We've got our maple syrup in there. That is ready to sell. However, if we can get our um, our environmental score up, that would be preferable. I know some of our equipment as well needs um, maintaining, but until we get that olive harvester, until we get that 306 grand for the olive harvester, and preferably more for a new tractor as well for the olives then I don't want to be maintaining anything I just don't want to be spending the money on it so as it stands we're just going to have to live with it really right let's get this up to those olives I can't remember is this our second or our third month with the olives, I can't remember if we put them in in January or whether we put them in in February like the first week of February I can't remember but these sunflowers these should be ready um, probably next month as well in fact I think we've got if we have a look on here oh no they're not going to be ready next month but our barley field and two canola fields oh, and a sugar beet field they're all going to be ready next month and then these oats then these aren't going to take long either just remembered what I thought what we were going to do today as well we were going to put some sort of shed down at the bottom of here so we can get our stuff put away let's get that on see if this is going to make a difference right it is making a difference
Well, Rusty Farman, thank you very much because I didn't think that that was going to do anything. I mean, God, it did not take up some line, didn't it? Um, I'm sure this will be on that um, automatic I can't think what it is spread rate or something like that oh my god it, this should not be bouncing off here like that I'm thinking I'm a best off just going buying a few bags of lime on a trailer and getting them up here. I think I probably am. Is this lime or fertiliser? It's going to be fertiliser, isn't it? Yeah, solid fertiliser. Can I lift them? No. No, I can't. Right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the store in the styre. Do you know what? I haven't got a trailer. I'm, going to, I'm still going to go to the store in the styre, get a couple of bags of lime and bring them up here. So, two sets. Right, that's what we did. We went and got the bag handler, went and got the styre, and um, that's our second load. So we've went through four bags of lime. Not all of it, there's still some left in that one. But, to be honest, it hasn't been that bad. It hasn't took us that long because you can pretty much do something like six rows at a time with the spreader, if we can get out of the trees. Um, so it's not that bad. I know there's tiny little strips in the middle, but I'm not going to go chasing them. Um, and then there's some bits at the end here, just because you sort of touch and go whether you hit each, um, hit the end of each row or not before having to go and fill up. I should have went one over. Doesn't matter, like. So yeah, that wasn't bad. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to check to see if we need to put another load of um, another load of fertiliser on. God, I can't wait to get a different tractor for doing this work. No, nitrogen say is perfect, so that is all good. Let's go and get back up to the farm because basically what I'm going to do is I might make this a bit of a longer episode and fit both days of marching. That's what I'm thinking of doing. But when we go into the next day, I want to see if we can get that environmental score a little bit higher. I just don't know if it's going to do it because I think it might recognise that olive field has not been fertilised, which is rubbish. But we can only try, I suppose. I will take it back. In fact, let's get changed over. I'm going to go back there to see if it takes any fertiliser and then we'll go up and turn the field number two over. I went down with the um, with the fertiliser. It didn't make any difference. It was getting rid. It was applying. But it comes up, what happens is, it comes up as if you weren't playing precision farming. So the blue and the dark blue to show that it's been harvested. Um not sure that's been sure that's been fertilized, sorry. Um so yeah, it was pointless carrying on. It wasn't changing, it was just um it was staying at that dark blue sort of double fertilized rate. So I just stopped it, brought it back up, um or brought the tractor back up. And um yeah we've hook, hooked up onto our uh, direct drill. We're going to put barley in here. A um, couple of reasons for that. Firstly, I didn't want to have to cultivate um, plant and then roll so we can just use the direct drill. If I can put barley in, then I know we've got, we've got a barley field that's going to be ready soon, but we'll just 
we're going through loads at the minute with both our chicken coops um, and the fact that we need to be making flour all the time now uh, stocking up on barley isn't going to be a bad idea whatsoever really I'd have probably liked to put sugar beet in um, just to offset the fact that we put some flowers in the sugar beet field but it's one of them things I mean that sugar beet it was it was only going to be there to to be put through the BGA anyway so we make them more than enough we've got absolutely tons of sugar so we don't need it for that we don't need it for our productions it's just it's literally just put through that BGA talking about the BGA we've kept that going um, in fact we've just ticked over into another another hour so we're now up to 221 that will keep going as well because when we first started I don't know what time it was I don't know if it had already gone past 3 o'clock but I topped it up not long before so it's just full of silage at the minute um, and we're still getting that I don't know, whatever it is, four and a half grand every hour I know I did a bit of a jump I'm basically wanting to get everything everything done before we go into the next in-game day I'm trying to get that environmental score up you see so I need this rolling and I need nitrogen button down on it because if we look at our environmental score here our nitrogen levels are mega low and it shouldn't be I mean this will help with the weed control but we need to get that up because we've got a fair amount to sell in this month um, a good chunk of stuff to sell really and we need that score as high as possible to be able to get the best price I mean I do, we are going to get to 306 grand I know we are I say I know we are I'm pretty confident that we're going to um, like I said, I can't remember when we put the olives in, whether it was January or... If it was January, I think it should be ready in May, shouldn't it? If it was January. So we've got a couple of months to get that money in. The thing that we're not going to get done this month... Um, not if I combine the two videos, which I think I'm going to do is we're not going to get our grass field cut even though it's ready to be cut now we're probably going to have to wait until April to get that done but then that will give us that continued um, amount of silage like hundreds of thousands of layers of silage to be fermenting ready to go into the BGA tell you what we are getting short of now um, now that we've got the three different types of donuts going and we've got cakes getting uh, produced in two of our productions as well eggs we're really struggling with eggs um, that second chicken coop I know it's got quite a bit of room to grow Cause I th did we only put like half the amount in I think we might have um, I don't know why I'm going over there I think we only put half the amount in so yeah there's still plenty of room to go for that but we need to start producing more eggs right let's leave that there I've brought the roller over and with the um, John Deere And then once we get, once we get this rolled, we need to get some fertilizer down on it. The fields that we did off camera beforehand, the um, the ones you've seen in the time lapse, they've all they were all rolled, rolled and all fertilised fully as well I 
I don't think I tend to show much um, rolling, do I? I th Rolling's one of them things I tend to do off camera. I think we're getting to the point where, now, to be honest, where I could probably do with a bigger roller, but I think in general that's um, that's starting to get the same for a lot of our equipment, isn't it? We're reaching that sort of point, and we've spoke about it before where we reach that point where our farm's just getting sort of too big. In fact, it was only from tonight's episode, like the episode that I've put out tonight, that it was mentioned about um, upgrading the cedars, the diet drill, to the John Deere's. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but it's the, um, it's the ones where you can attach two or three of them together. I suppose you could attach ten of them together if you wanted, couldn't you? But, um, yeah, I tried that in 19. And I just, I couldn't get away with them. I didn't like the way they turned together. I didn't, like, if you try to back up, they were an absolute nightmare. Um, yeah. Although they, like, for the price, and for what they do, they're an absolute steal, aren't they? But, yeah, I just didn't get away with them. I, when I replied, I said, like, I find them fiddly and um, just not very easy to use. So, we'll be keeping our direct drill for the minute. Um, there was, although we're not going to be getting it, but there was a massive cedar in the used machinery. They are still in there. John Deere. 17.8 metres, I mean, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Using that. Oh, it's a planter. I thought it was the, um, I didn't realise it was a planter, I thought it was the cedar. Uh, but that, Deutz is still in, which we've seen in the last episode, which, like I said, I'd love to have, but I just don't need it. And then, obviously, we don't need a sugar cane trailer. Right. Um... We shall jump to the fertilizer, I think. As you can see, we... Well, we just about finished, but it's getting fairly dark now as well. Um, 20 past 6, it's still March, so... It's not like it's going to be um, still light at 9, 10 o'clock at night. This is the last thing we're going to do, other than maybe put some silage into the BGA. But we're going to get this done, and then we're going to move into the next day. I'm hoping, well, I was hoping some decent was going to be in there, but I'm hoping that um, that's going to improve. Because the nitrogen will be down. These are a bit of a concern as well, because when now go on there, it says that they don't need doing anymore. However, they don't look like they should be finished which is a bit rubbish the thing that's really hurting us is them olives isn't it not preparing because of just because I didn't know about it not preparing this field um, prior like I have done with this one that's what's gonna really hurt us I think Which is a shame, but like I said, I didn't even realise you had to do that. I mean, that's got to be a flaw, hasn't it? Surely that's got to be a flaw in the game, if you're having to do that. But we'll get this done. We'll rest. And then hopefully, next in-game day, we'll make some money. Things we've got to sell. We've definitely got the sunflower oil that is at its highest in March. The canola oil isn't. Well, that's November. However, we're going to sell as much as what we can. Because um, we need to. We need to make that money. So I don't think the price will be... Although it won't be at its peak. 
we'll still be making a decent amount of money off it so we'll do that we've got the maple syrup to sell the furniture and the w uh, wood planks I think they continue to go up so we might wait till April for that maybe even May if the if we don't need the harvester in May then in April sorry there's that um it's only the second time I've heard it that's the what you call it Bigfoot that's that noise isn't it it's literally the second time so we're 110 episodes in and because I rarely have the sound on um, I never hear it is it a Sasquatch? is that what you call it? it is isn't it right get them lights off let's get over here we'll quickly jump into our truck we'll get this tipped in and um, should we do one more as well overnight and then we shall rest see how much is in the, we were low on this one I oh, know we were low obviously the grass has um, built it back up need them eggs to keep going don't we it seems so slow I don't know why it's as slow as what it probably isn't it's just because I need them that's probably why I'm thinking it okie duck right plenty of food Let's go and rest. We'll come back in the second um, second part of March, and hopefully that environmental score has improved significantly. Because I don't see what else we can do really, apart from get rid of them weeds in there, which is a bit of a pain, I know. But other than that, I don't see what we can do. So let's go into the next year. We're in the next day, we're up to 246 grand, obviously the BG has been working hard overnight. Um, unfortunately, our scores said the same. Now I'm not sure whether these scores, I'll get an A and talk in a way. I'm not sure whether those scores change um, at the end of each working day or whether the change throughout the day, whether the flu would like that, or whether the only change going into the next months. I'm not sure. So that might never have changed. I don't know. It's a shame though, we're we only going to get a 6% um, environmental bonus for everything we're about to sell today. Which we're going to start with the oils, I think. Nearly missed that tree. I say missed that tree, nearly hit that tree. Um, right, so we've only got one of each left on here. As if I was pressing the wrong button for that, how often do I play this game and I'm pressing the wrong three button 
to un um, unstruck that. <laughs> Just press it again. Right, not that time. In fact, we'll not do that one. Let's do that one. I was hoping we'd have. Well, we're about to have two others, aren't we? By the looks of it. But they'll just have to go on to the next lord. There we go. So we have, what do we have on there? 12,000 litres of sunflower oil, 14,000 litres of canola oil. That is going to be some decent money. I'm going to quickly, though, jump over to... Not jump over, sorry. I'm going to quickly drive over to the farm because we've got some strawberries that we might as well sell because we just stacked out everywhere with strawberries. Um, I was actually going to change some of the productions around. This will be the second time we've had to sell a load of strawberries because the thing that we're getting with it at the minute as well is... We reach in the pallet limit quite a lot. Um, mostly to do with three things: strawberries, the um, sugar, and the flour. I mean, there's probably this is backed up loads as well. Is it? Tons of strawberries. Yeah, ah, there's like nearly nine thousand liters of strawberries backed up as well. So they're just going to keep spawning over and over again. Thing is, I can't put them on um, distributing because they're going to the wrong factory. I mean, I don't have to take them all up. Tell you what else we'll have to have a look at as well. To see what's happening with the donut prices because we've got a good load of donuts um, made up. So if there isn't a significant change between March and April, then we might go and sell all them as well. I already know that the canola and the sunflower oil, they're going to the farm shop the canola is like 17 something per thousand litres um, and the sunflower oil is 2100 right. that's all I'll take it's a good, good job canola oil isn't accept the text, I didn't want it there and say the same here as well. No. Ah, yeah. For the second one. I must have been out the range for the other one. Still need to do something with these bits. But that's for a different time. We've got far too much to do in these next couple of months just because of the olives. And obviously that sorghum field needs... Um, Needs harvesting as well. That needs doing in today's episode, and preferably when it's not raining. Uh, Weather-wise, right, it's going to rain from one for most of the afternoon. I mean, it, it doesn't take long at all. That field will be done in no time. I'll probably end up putting sugar beet back in that field as well, since we've done. Um, the other field wrong. Right, strawberries. I haven't checked the price to see what's the highest because it doesn't matter. It's always really similar. So, seeing as I'm taking everything else up here, I might as well take these up here as well. So, get them on there. And away it goes. I thought we might have hit our 
306 grand target there, the way it was shooting up. Right, bit of an interruption, but we got 50 odd thousand. Um, I didn't say what the environmental score was, I'd have to go back and have a look. Oh, it's sold products 104 grand. What else have I sold in this one? Oh, I'll tell you what, I've been, tell I've been selling the um, the silage for, well, electricity, haven't I? So that takes us up to 300 grand, which means we can drive over them. Let's have a look, see what's in the used machinery as well. Nothing. And now, we're going to have a look, see what the situation is with the donuts and actually we could just probably sell some sugar as well to be honest um, right is everything running there materials missing what's missing is a flower Let's go and get. Before we look at the donuts, let's just get some flour. I just seen missing materials on that one as well, but I didn't. Oh, I tell you what, that'll be. That'll actually be the flour, I think. Right. That's back up and running. Why haven't we got cakes yet? Materials missing for this. Is it eggs again? It's eggs. And it's going to be up here. Ah, it's too that one. Right. Okay. The. What's this? Chocolate. We'll take over there. And there, the clothes. Um, I already know that the price is going to be high yet in April, so we'll not be selling them today. Let's have a look at the donuts. Right, 3.7, it can be high as high as... It's pretty much going to be the same by the looks of it. 3.9, 4.2. Tell you what, let's get all these. I'll get all these stacked up and then we'll go and get them sold. Last one. We'll get that put in the middle and then I think this first lot of chocolate ones we've actually created, isn't it? Um, what was the... Ah, I think they all... They can all only go to the grocery store. Let's have a look, see what bread is at the minute. Because that bread's been sat there for quite a while. One six. Um, it's going to go down next month. And what about butter? And sugar. Right. The bread we will definitely take. There is no reason not to. I mean this. This is going to make us a lot of money as well, isn't it? At least we know that by the time the olives come, the money's there to um, buy the harvester. I mean, that's mint. Yeah, nearly 62 grand, 3,700 from the environmental score as well. I am of that, 366 grand. 
that's outstanding. Right, what we're going to do is, in fact, the very last thing that we're going to do for this video, because it's obviously kicking on, let's go and harvest the sorghum, and then I think that's where we'll leave it. We have the correct header on. And we'll get started as we normally do at the top and just take this this top part off. Because we find it a lot easier to get it done this way. I mean this, I know it's got weeds in, we're not expecting a massive yield from it. Um, did we put it in purely because of how quickly it grew, didn't we? And then maybe to make flour out of it, I think, I think that was our reasoning for putting this in. It's not something, we haven't done sorghum for ages, have we? I know right at the beginning of the series we used to do quite regular because of how quick it was. This in oats, I think it was, um, was two of the sort of uh, most popular ones that we used. Just uh, four months, four months each. But because we don't we don't produce anything with sorghum, do we? Um, we obviously don't get the straw from it as well, which, given the fact that our manure factory has been pretty much our most used, um, well, it is a production, isn't it? That we've got, then, yeah, it's just something that we've hardly used. Just look gone. Could go on up into there though, doesn't it? Not really paid attention that far. How on earth? How on earth? Who's I missing that? We're not even going to get a full tank, are we? I'm doing it again. Right. I'll give it plenty of room on this side. I've no, no idea how long this episode's going to be. Um, I literally have no idea. I haven't been on to uh, to edit the first bit yet. I just I wanted to get through March. I knew I knew we had quite a lot to do. But I thought we could get it all done in one episode, which I still think that it was the right decision to do. And let's be fair, we've made an absolute fortune as well on me. Which is never a bad thing, and never a bad thing to show either. I mean, it could have quite easily been two episodes, if we'd been doing the time lapses for the work that we've been doing, instead of sort of jumping through them. Go in there, don't go in there. Nearly. I mean, there's going to be quite a lot of colours, isn't there? All the fields, other than. In fact, I'll probably do this one off camera, to be honest. Um, 
that'll mean all the fields are planted for April which isn't a bad situation to be in really and hopefully it'll push that environmental score up We're almost there now. One more run after this one, and then that'll be us done. I'll keep topping the BG up while I'm working in this field, and then we'll just skip right into right into April. I mean, we're going to be close to 10 grand then, aren't we? Yeah, 10 grand, 10,000 litres worth. Which isn't bad, really. Although this isn't the full width of the header, which is obviously hurting it. Still nothing to use machinery, nope. Oh, I'll be so good if that olive harvester comes up, you know. I know it's not going to, but if it did, it would be amazing. There was one little bit left over there, wasn't it? Make sure we get it all. So we have pe past 10,000 litres. <laughs> and there's that whole one. Right. It's been probably a really long, but also really busy episode. We had tons to do, loads and loads of field work to do. Um, and then just in general, loads of running about. I haven't sold the maple. I'll have to wait. I'll do that in the next one. Um, yeah. Loads of fields prepared. Um, loads of money made. Which is never a bad thing. 366 grand, that means. We get our new harvester for the olives. It means we're getting a new tractor for the olives. And it means we'll be able to afford a shed that we were going to put in in this episode, but. Yeah, I think it's just going to be too long. So for now, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one.